hello there welcome to this tutorial the topic is standard form and ordinary form the standard form is also known as the scientific notation while the ordinary form is the usual form of numbers we deal with in our daily activities so we take our first problem express each of the following as standard form a four hundred thousand b seventy eight thousand six hundred c three hundred and forty seven point seven two d zero point zero 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 seven e zero point zero eight six seven two and f four point eight three so we go so starting from four hundred thousand what we are going to do is for every whole number it can be written as decimal fraction so for 400,000 can be written as 400,000.0 it can be written as 8.0 one can be written as 1.0 all to one decimal place so we express this one as decimal fraction so I have a 400,000.0 by scientific notation it is expected to have the point between this 4 and 0 that is having a non zero digit before the decimal point non zero digit before the decimal point and multiply by 10 to the power of n where n is an integer so we go to place this point here we shall move this decimal point until we get to this point until we get to this point so we start we have one two three four five so we now have our answer as four we can write it as four point zero so we have it as four times ten to the power of how many steps did we move the decimal point we count one two three four five so times ten raised to the power five that is the standard form of 400,000 or the scientific notation of 400,000 so we go to be part of the problem 78,600 we shall also write the 78,600 as decimal fraction that's 78,600.0 again we shall move the point until we have it between 7 and 8 so we move 1 two three four so we have our answer as seven point eight six these zeros are negligible since there's decimal point here so times ten to the power of one two three four to the power of four as the standard form of seventy eight thousand six hundred so the c part of the problem so this problem is already a decimal fraction so we go just go ahead to move the decimal point moving the decimal point we have a one two so we stop here because we have a non-zero digit number before the decimal point so this our answer will be 3.4772 times 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 we move the decimal point only twice so that's the standard form of that number so we go to the part of the problem this is 0 0.00007 and uh, in this case this number is less than 1 if you look at a is far greater than 1 greater than 1 greater than 1 but this number d e d are less than 1 so since they are less than 1 the power of 10 is going to be negative so again we are still going to move the decimal point until we place the point after 7 so we move the decimal point this is 1 2 3 4 5 so we have the decimal point behind 7 so we are going to have it as 7 or you write it as 7.0 times 10 to the power of negative 1 2 3 4 5 negative 5 so because the number is less than 1 you have 0, 0.0000 anywhere you have 0, 0.0 something 
then the power is going to be negative 5 so we go to e again we are going to move this decimal point until we get it between 8 and 6 so we move 1 2 so we have it as 8.672 times 10 to the power of negative 2 so 1 2 so the power is negative 2 and uh, the f part of the problem if you look at this is already taking a form of standard form partially so we have already gotten a digit number before the decimal point we don't need to move the point again so the scientific notation will still be 4.83 times 10 to the power of 0 we did not move the decimal point so the power is 0 the power of 10 is 0 so that's the standard form of 4.83 so we go to problem 2 express each of the following as ordinary form to express this as ordinary form we want to remove this times 10 raised to the power 4 so that we have it as purely in figures so we start with uh, a um, 10 raised to the power 4 is 10,000 so we have 5 times 10,000 that are 4 zeros this is to the power of 4 so the method of multiplying a whole number by multiples of 10 is just to bring the 5 and add the zeros so we have the ordinary form of 5 times 10 raised to the power of 4 as 50,000 we go to B part of the problem 1.38 times 10 to the power of 7 again we have a 1.38 times 10 million I have two decimal places here so I can remove the two decimal places and cancel two zeros so I have one three eight I've removed the decimal point thereby cancelling the two zeros how many zeros do I have I have five zeros left so I just add the five zero so I have uh, have 13 million eight hundred thousand as the ordinary form of 1.38 times 10 raised to the power 7 so the C part of the problem 1.2431 times 10 to the power of 3 here again we have 1.2431 times 1000 3 zeros here 1000 so we move the decimal point here this time around we move the decimal point 3 times with this 0 so I have a 1 two three so i have one two four three point one as ordinary form of one point two four three one times ten to the power of three so we go to the d part of the problem so the d part of the problem i have a eight times ten to the power of negative three here because of this negative three this will change to division so I now have it as 8 divided by 1000 the index here is 3 so I have 3 zeros and because of this negative this multiplication changes to division and uh, we do our division uh, this is we are going to write it as 3 decimal places because of this 0 so we are going to have it as 0. Point zero zero eight zero zero eight so there are three decimal places here now because we are dividing eight by one thousand if we are dividing it by ten thousand we have four decimal places meaning the three zero will be here before eight if it is five zero it's going to be written as five decimal places so that's the shortest way of carrying out that division so we go to e 9.18 times 10 to the power of negative 4 again we have 9.18 divide because of the negative sign we have here we change this to division 10,000 divide by 10,000 so here we are going to move this decimal point to the left 4 times so we move 1 
two, three, four. So all these empty spaces we have here, we fill it with zero, zero, zero. Then we place the zero before the decimal point, and our final answer will be zero point zero 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 nine one eight. 0.000918 that is the ordinary form of 9.18 times 10 to the power of negative 4 that's the end of the root for problem 2 which invariably brings the tutorial to an end please remember to subscribe to our youtube channel if you have not done that like and share this video until we come your way again bye for now thank you